Well, happy November, friends, family, and supporters of Overflow. Uh, good to be with you again, and I'm here with Joe in our beautiful prayer room, which is located in the Admin Center at Madawi, and certainly available for anybody who wants to enjoy a really beautiful space. We really wanted to bring you up to speed on things that you can be praying for, uh, and also participating in uh, to let you know what's going on. First of all, really, uh, encouraged with the generous support of our church community towards the Operation Christmas Child. Mm. Saw a whole swag of boxes last Sunday and even more this week and so we really pray that there's going to be a whole heap of kids who are just going to be blessed and hopefully even a life-changing experience and um, we just pray that people will come to experience God's love and to know more about Him through this brilliant project. We're also involved in our local community. Can you to share what's happening with Overflow Care? Yeah, so to give you a bit of an update on Overflow Care, the main program that we're running with at the moment is Money Mentoring. Uh, money Mentoring is assisting anyone who is in financial difficulty or anyone who wants help with their finances. Uh, it's a free service. We have four people trained at the church and it's a program that's completely tailored to the person who's receiving it. Uh, we talk about financial goals and then we can discuss anything from how and why we use money to setting up a budget to insurance, anything essentially financial information that we need. And to let you know uh, other activities that are happening at Overflow Care, we are partnering with other local organisations and Port Stevens Council and active volunteers. Uh, and we're almost at the stages of getting together a youth, a community youth event and also a land care and beautification event towards the end of this year and the start of next year. So if you could continue praying for us as we shape those up. Yeah, great opportunities. And we have mentors that are really busting to help people with finances. We just need to know who we can help. So if any of these, uh, have sounds like your sweet spot or something that you're interested in. We have a meeting uh, for Overflow Care coming up on Sunday the 19th of the 11th at 12 p.m. We'll give you some lunch, we'll share some more information after church. The other thing that we have is Walk the World. So this is coming up on the weekend of the 10th to the 12th of November and it's inviting anybody and everybody to get out in our communities and be praying for our neighbourhoods. So whether we walk, run, push, cycle, imagine or drive around the neighbourhood praying that God will bless our neighbourhood, that people will come to know his goodness. We'll have these brochures available on Sunday. Close at home, just to bring you up with some news happening here at Overflow. Uh, for those who weren't at church last Sunday, Jim McIntyre had some news, I'll get him to share that. Hello church, just have a bit of news. My family and I, we are finishing up at Overflow. I have been part of the leadership of Overflow for 14 years now, uh, and I've been really thankful for all the opportunities I've had during that time to learn, to grow, uh, and to serve Chris, Brad, Jesus, uh, and many of yourselves. So it, it, we are sad to be finishing up, but also really expectant to see what the Lord has for us next. We're just going to be spending six months uh, hanging out as a family. We've got our, our newborn will be due any time now. So we're just going to be spending some time as a family before we move into the next thing. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've been blessed and privileged to be part of Overflow for uh, the time that we've been here and we'll be continuing to pray for Overflow as you guys move forward. So thank you. So it's bittersweet to see Jim and Catherine moving on to a new season, but we're excited for what God has in store for them. And we want to take time to celebrate them next Sunday, 5th of November. Uh, and we also want to be generous towards them. If you would like to contribute towards a financial gift, you can give it to the church bank account, make a reference to Jim, and we'll be able to bless them as well. Some other things that are happening in the local area? Yeah, so Susie Hayes has a craft event coming up on Saturday the 11th of November. Uh, she's supplying everything that you need to be crafty. 
So if you're interested in anything creative with your hands, uh, let Susie know. The day after, on Sunday the 12th, the board have advised me that they have some important transition news to update you with. So come along on Sunday the 12th to hear that. And then we have a church family pizza lunch after church on Sunday the 26th of November. So be hungry, be ready. We'll see you there. Too much pizza is never enough. And for warning, on Saturday the 9th of December, we have a working beat. So we're going to be cleaning up a few areas and improving our community spaces that we share with the other businesses on site. Brilliant. Come along and join in the fun. So lots happening. Uh, also, we'd love to care and to pray for people. So if you know anybody in need, please don't hesitate to contact the church office or one of our leaders and let us know how we can help. So another exciting month ahead and plenty to look forward to. And we just really wanna pray that God blesses uh, the work of our hands and that people get to experience the love of Jesus in the process. So while we're in the prayer space, uh, I could I invite you to pray for us, Joe? Dad, I want to thank you for our church family. I want to thank you that you have brought us all together. I want to thank you that you have incredibly good gifts and plans in store for us over the next couple of months. But we just pray that as we are learning to become more like you this term, that we would be filled with a greater understanding of who you are and how good you are, and that would overflow into the people and the spaces around us. We just declare your blessing over the events and activities that are coming up and help us to grow closer to you and closer to each other in the process. We just thank you for how good you are and how abundantly generous you are. And we just ask that you would be sharpening our ears to hear what it is you're saying in this season for us and to know how to step into the opportunities that you're calling us into, but also how to just relax back into your goodness. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for joining us and we just pray God bless you richly. Amen.